Uh, well, uh, as you can see, uh, I already done the drawing part uh, with my high tech high tech pens. Uh, 0 0.25 for for the fine line and 0 0.4 for the uh, accent lines and contours and dark uh, lines, shadow lines. Um, now we're going to proceed with uh, markers. Okay, once we do the line, uh, we um, start with very light gray uh, tone marker for the uh, MAC, for the transport, and then we build up, start building up the color. I like to, um, once I do a little bit of uh, the tone on, on, on the actual uh, transport or vehicle, I like to set up a background, at least with the light gray tone to it and a horizon line just to get an idea of how dark uh, the valuation of tone this particular uh, vehicle is going to have. This uh, tone on the background will guide me if it's a reflective uh, metal or if it's flat or it has any particular uh, composition to, to, to it. Uh, now I'm doing uh, the horizon line and establishing uh, the darker tones. Now with a fine point tip, black tip, flexible tip, I'm going to increase the uh, contrast and tone with the darker tone on the background. I usually uh, do night scenes when it comes to Necks and transports and vehicles. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm building up the tone with the dark, with the darker. Uh, what is it? It's sixty percent, seventy percent. I also sometimes create a little silhouette, building silhouette on the background, just with the darker gray tone, just to give it some ambience, some uh, environmental uh, features uh, of a building or a tower, whatever is in the background. Nothing specific, just squares and dots and points that uh, that doesn't mean they don't mean anything. Just insinuate some kind of building. Now that I have a tone, a night scene or some kind of a dark environment, it will set the tone for the rest of the max valuation of tone and, 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 and shadows. So I'll start building up the uh, environment, uh, do some reflections and in the uh, ground and uh, start building up the, uh, the tones on the actual mech mechanical and also uh, start getting uh, a little bit of detail on them a little darker tones and, and shadows and things nothing specific I don't even know what I'm going to draw next but I'll I'll, I'll create a little bit of uh, things that come up in my mind and, 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 and seem to become a little more interesting with this dad and this thing and whatever I do When I um, start uh, getting uh, details of shadows and lights and whatever we have here, I don't get into uh, specifics, little details and things that are specific because that's not the point. The point is to get a, a, a feeling for uh, what this object is. Once you get the feeling and the flow and, and basic chip shape like in this case a, a, a round shape with the something across it um, that's what you need this is an inspiration this is uh, something that is gonna trigger trigger um, things in your mind for you to say later on when you revisit this drawing and go okay uh, I can add this and this and that and 
and make it more interesting by more interesting uh, object by um, by adding more detail to it. For small ideations like this, basically when you do the line drawing, you have uh, you should have at least ninety percent of the idea of how this thing is going to look like. When, what you do with uh, markers and, and, and in this case value markers, gray tones, is just uh, adding shade to it. The ideation should be done by the line work and 10% by, by, by the valuation of the little things that you add. Now here's the fun part when uh, when you just do highlights, which is the final stage of doing little ideations like this. Um, add reflections, highlights, little bouncing light here and there, little lights and and, and things on the Mac. Don't draw with it. Just even a little your finger painting will do. And uh, a highlight here and there and that's it, a reflection here and there, nothing specific because you don't even know what's what's there. When you'll find out what is there is, is when you when you have this store in the library and, and then you go, okay, I can add this, I can add this engine to this, I can add this propulsion thing right here, maybe a rocket here, a gun right there. And that's when you, your, animation, your imagination goes wild and I start defining this, uh, this uh, particular prototype on a bigger sketch with more detail. But for now it's, 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 it's good enough. It's a little, little highlight here and there and that's it. No more. Don't complicate things. Keep it simple and spontaneous as a sketch. I kept this video at real time uh, just to show you that this can be done under 10 minutes. This is about 10 11 minutes of my time. Uh, sketching, uh, let's say, about a couple of minutes of uh, line work that I didn't have on this particular video. Uh, but they're simple, they're quick. This one is a little more. Uh, not complicated but more elaborate than some others that I do even quicker uh, but uh, it's fine too um, just the final touches a little highlight little reflection a little bit of finger painting and uh, that will do it I hope you enjoy it thank you